PCOM is actually one of the few medical schools that I'm aware of that actually does the plastination process. We've had a long history of doing it here. One of our um, chairs, the current chair of the department, um, is Tate Vist, and for a long time he was doing it um, many, many years ago. And so a lot of the specimens that we're using right now were uh, put together by him a couple of decades ago. So that shows for its, its durability. What we have changed a little bit is a couple of the techniques and we've been able to get a few um, extra pieces of equipment so now we can go back and increase what we're looking at so where we were once only able to visualize something from say the forearm down we actually have the space now to prepare things to look at the entire arm all the way up. The plastination process is a really useful tool for us to turn items that were once living tissue into something that is more like rubber now and long-term durable plastic. At PCOM, we, we do it uh, in order to be able to have a, a, a massive teaching collection. We tried to introduce the concept of variation really early on. Variation is a really important concept to understand in terms of anatomy and especially if you're going to become a physician because you want to be able to, um, to judge when things are just slightly different and when things are wrong as opposed to just some sort of type of, of variation. We use models for things like the hand to look at the different joints and the ligaments that cross the, the different bones because they're really difficult to dissect in a timely fashion. And when we're dealing with 270 students at once, we want to have another mechanism for them to double check what it is that they're looking for. We want to be able to turn this process into something that we can use for a teaching collection.